What's up guys, Drake here with Drake's Detailing. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to properly detail and top off a ceramic coated boat. This boat was coated one year ago and we've been out and washed it. The coating is doing fine, but there is some scratches, some light water marks, and a little bit of oxidation came back where the sun hits it on the very back. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and polish it out and retop it off with an SiO2 coating to bring back the hydrophobic effect. The ceramic coating is doing great, but it is losing some of its hydrophobic properties, which is what basically makes it water bead and clean easy. So we're gonna go ahead and top it off with an SiO2 coating in this video. This is gonna be great for if you're learning, if you're wanting to learn how to polish ceramic without taking it off, and how to rejuvenize the hydrophobic effect. Hey guys, like always, if you get any value out of this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification, so every time I make a video, it'll pop up. Everything that's listed in this video is in the description down below. If you click those links and purchase those, I do get a small percentage of that, so I thank you guys for that. All right guys, so as you can see, the boat actually isn't in too bad of shape. It looks pretty dang good, but here's those scratches that I'm talking about all of these scratches it's actually on the coating that's one good thing about ceramic coating guys if it does scratch it scratches the coating and not the actual boat itself there are some deeper ones that probably ain't going to come out now once the boat is coated it's easier to get those scratches out so that's one of the perks about it that is not a real snake scared the crap out of me when i got here this is some of the oxidation that we're going to buff out that came back it literally only came back on the swim platform it's kind of strange but uh that's pretty much the only part that actually gets sunlight all the time the seats are a little dirty um but I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to clean some uh, ceramic coated seats and the tower is all coated. Everything, every single square inch of this boat is coated, but we're gonna go ahead and get it all cleaned up, polished and topped off with the SiO2. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right guys, so first things first is we are gonna hop into the washing and cleaning process. So all I have here is a microfiber rag using Dawn dishwashing soap. Um, I like Dawn because it's nice and gentle on the ceramic, but it is pretty tough on the grease and salt and oils and that kind of thing. So you don't have to use a microfiber rag. I honestly prefer you use a hand wash mitt which is linked down below but quite frankly the only reason why i did not use it is because i left it at home and i was washing it in my washer machine so uh tip number one always be prepared for everything but microfiber rags will do just fine typically like to stay away from brushes when i'm doing ceramic coating boats because a brush can slightly scratch the surface a little bit and i just try to be as delicate as possible on a white boat that you're waxing it's not so much a concern but on black boats or colored boats that are ceramic coated you just want to treat it with a little more care so use a, a hand mitt or microfiber rags and just wash the boat inside and out we're going to do in inside right now as you can see we're doing the seats we're doing the floors uh here in a little bit and we're doing the uh, the gunnels and then on the outside we're just going to wash the whole boat so nothing super fancy here guys just go ahead wash the boat use dawn dishwashing soap or any type of soap like that like an ajax or uh, a joy or something like that super cheap you can buy more expensive products there are better more expensive products out there but dawn dishwashing soap works honestly just fine so wash the boat inside and out and then we're going to hop to our next step All right guys, so we're obviously doing this boat on the lift. Uh, as you can see, there's a um, walkway over here, but all of this, there's nothing. So how do you do it? I have a, uh, I think this is a two by 12 by probably 16 foot maybe. Um, and I basically string it along. Normally the docks aren't this far away from each other, but as you can see, I run it to his, uh, where the lift is, and then I bring it to the dock, and then I just take tie straps and tie it down so it doesn't slip off the dock, all right? So as you can see, it's pretty sketchy looking, but that ain't gone anywhere. All right, so step number two in the process is going to be polishing the ceramic. All right, so when you're polishing ceramic, one thing you do not wanna do is cut too deep because you can remove the ceramic, and that's not what we wanna do. Now, sometimes there is a time and a place for that when you're trying to remove it all to restart or, or just remove the ceramic to be able to wax it, but in this case, we just want to polish off the watermarks and those scratches that I was showing you in the beginning. All we have here is the um, Nautical One SiO2 One Step Ceramic. It actually worked out really, really well. 
Another great product you can use is Minzerna 3500. All right, I'm gonna link them both down below if you'd like to get them. One thing I did like about the Nautical One One Step is it does have an SiO2 in it. So that is what we're gonna be applying after this step. So it just kind of adds maybe a little extra protection. You are gonna wash it off anyway, so it's not like it makes a huge difference. So you can use the Minzerna 3500 as well. As you can see here, I'm using the Griot's Garage G9. This is their new DA. It's their um, their smaller DA, um, and it works just fine. And I'm using a Buff and Shine Euro finishing microfiber pad. I like the microfiber pads on the G9 because it does not torque down as much and it won't stall out. And it's a super easy, simple polishing process. You don't have to push very hard and uh, you just let the machine do the work. I am running the machine on probably like the four and a half setting, so it's not all the way full and it's not very slow either. So just do like four and a half to five and polish it out. One thing, if you are using the G9, always make sure that the pad is spinning. Do not let it stall out because the second it stops spinning is the second it stops working. So do the gunnel, do the top, do the bottom, and then we're good to go. All right, so moving on to our third step. Uh, we did not polish the inside of this boat because quite frankly, it didn't really need it. it. Had a little bit of watermarks, but nothing too crazy. So the inside we did not do. So now that the outside is polished, now we're just gonna do our interior detail. We already cleaned it in the beginning, but now we're doing our seat. So as you can see, all I have here is concentrated, you know, uh, it's, it's the same Dawn dishwashing soap and I am using a hard bristle brush, uh, seat cleaning brush, and you can find it linked down below. I have it. Just scrub the seats out real good. These seats are already pretty clean. I mean, they're a little dirty, but nothing crazy. So just do the Dawn, the brush, and then wipe them clean. That's how easy it is because all of these seats were ceramic coated and we did it one year ago. Now, all I'm doing here on the C deck, and this is factory C deck, is a little bit of Purple Power and Dawn mixed in this pump sprayer. I spray it on, try to stay away from the walls that are ceramic coated, but spray it on the floor and then take that same hard bristle brush and scrub it. One big thing when you're doing a C deck is to stay with the grain. Same as teak, okay? Stay with the grain. So as you notice where the lines are going down, I'm going with the grain of the of the C deck. You don't want to go against the grain because you can mess it up. So um, this cleaning aspect, it really does make a big difference. Now, to be fair, these, this C deck was not very dirty to begin with, so it really didn't need a lot of scrubbing. So if you just put a little bit of purple power and some Dawn and go with the grain, it really, really cleans that C deck right up. The same thing like too with the seats, you know, I don't, um, when I'm using my brush, I try to go with the grain of the vinyl, try to not scrub like back and forth, try to go with the grain and it'll just help uh, keep the seats looking good for longer. Now, as soon as we are done with the sea deck, we're gonna wash the outside just to remove off any polish residue that may have built up on it before we do our SiO2 coating. So the same thing, Dawn dishwashing soap with a little microfiber wash mitt, and we're just gonna wash the outside just to get off any residues from the polish because you don't wanna seal those in on the ceramic. So make sure the, the surface is completely smooth before we move on to our next step and do the McKees 37 Hydro Pearl. Okay, so this is McKee's 37 Hydro Pearl. You've seen this in a lot of my other videos and it is an amazing product. It is super, super simple. You literally spray it on and you rinse it off. That's it, it's super simple. So if you notice the seats right now have no water beads on them. Now watch, after we rinse it off and look at, look at that, all those water beads come right back. Now, it does make it easier to clean. It does keep it hydrophobic, so it's gonna make it water bead. But even if the ceramic coating isn't water beading, that does not necessarily mean the ceramic coating is failing. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. And I did for a long time is to say like, oh my gosh, the coating is not on there anymore because it's not water beading. And that's not simply true. The coating is on this boat. I mean, it still protected it very well. If you notice, there wasn't like a lick of oxidation besides the back. The only thing that it was lacking was the hydrophobic effect, and that is basically the water beads. This product is going to rejuvenate that. It's going to top off the ceramic coating and it's gonna put those water beads back on the surface and it's gonna keep it easier to clean. That's one thing that typically fails on ceramic coatings first, especially in saltwater environments, is the hydrophobic effect, the water beads and the ease of clean. The McKees 37 Hydro Pearl is gonna make it extremely easy to clean again and it's gonna keep the water beads. This is something that you can do every once a month. I usually recommend every boat owner put this on their boat once a month. It's gonna keep your wax topped off if you're not ceramic coated, but in this case it is ceramic coated, so it's gonna to top off our ceramic coat. It's just gonna keep the water beading like crazy. So as you can see guys, we did the seats, we did the interior panels, and now we're doing the outside, same process. 
Um, you typically want to split the boat up into two sections. Um, about every 10 feet is what the bottle says. So mist it on, spray it on, try to keep, try to spray it as even as possible. Spray it on, even coats, and then rinse it off. It's literally that easy. And you, I mean, before your eyes, it'll be no water beads, and then the water will just bead right off like crazy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the gunnel, we're gonna do the rub rail down to the water line, and I'm kind of gonna get as under it as best I can. The cool thing about the dock is you can just spray it and rinse it. You can also do it on the glass as well. So this is the McKee 37 Hydro Pearl. Go ahead, do it. I like doing two coats on the exterior of the boat. So um, go all the way around and then just go all the way around again, do two coats. I did not film the second coat just for time's sake, but do two coats and then we're gonna dry the boat. It's a must that you dry the boat after because you don't wanna do all this work, polish it, put the, the McKee 37 Hydro Pearl on there and then let it air dry and then you're gonna have watermarks all over it again. So make sure you dry the boat every time after you do the McKee 37 Hydro Pearl and then it should look like this. This is the Hydro Pearl on the seats, on the gel coat, everything. All right, so all we're gonna do now is dry it. Like I was just saying, um, this is an absorber, uh, boat boat absorber. You can uh, find in a link down below. It's just a chamois, glorified chamois. Uh, go ahead, you can use chamois. You can also use microfiber drying rags. Those work really well, as you know, really good as well. Really anything will work. You can also use a blow dryer. Some people are like, never dry uh, you know, a, <laughs> a car or a boat. You can also use a blower. It's really no big deal. I like the chamois because it makes it super easy, and especially after you put the McKees 37 Hydro Pearl, it's a super good drying aid, and it literally dries up. You just saw how quickly I just dried that seat. So go ahead, dry the whole boat, and then as soon as you're done, just take some microfiber rags and perfect it. You can also use Jeskar beat it on top of the McKees 37 Hydro Pearl. Just add a little extra layer and a little extra coating, and that's it, guys. We are done. Hey guys, what's up? That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, before you present the boat to the customer, make sure you shop back out the compartments, make sure everything's wiped down under the seat cushions, the windows, make sure they're streak free before you present it to the customer. I did not film it for time's sake, but make sure you guys do that. Uh, you can find it in all my other videos. Other than that, if you like this video, please like this video, comment this video, and share this video. It really helps us out a lot. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. Let's go.